Good morning everyone, hope you have an amazing day. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, traditional Napolitan pizza and uh, contemporary Napolitan pizza. So we're gonna talk about the difference and the way the stretch check. Uh, one second, there we go, that's your pizza ready. You want some tissues to get for you? Yeah. All right then, just keep in, yeah, there you go. Enjoy, thank you. So we're gonna talk about contemporary pizza. What is it? Yes, sir, yes. There you go, open up. Yeah. Nice and spicy, give it a little bit warmer today. Yeah. There we go, lovely, enjoy. And, uh, yeah. So we're gonna talk the traditional Napolitan pizza and the contemporary. So the traditional Napolitan pizza it's got probably it's been made probably on the 1800 so it's got many many years it's been this pizza on this world uh, normally it's got thin crust quite large hydration normally around 60 65 percent uh, average contemporary pizza what is contemporary contemporary is something modern for last decade the most pizza chef they start to make the news way to make it uh, this contemporary pizza which got high hydration big crust big high pocket and normally they do with the bigger and polish and that's a little bit different so it's got a bit smaller bigger cross high hydration normally done with the bigger and polish so I'm going to make those two pizzas I'm going to show you the difference because some people are very confused what is Napolitan pizza or what they call contemporary pizza so I done my contemporary pizza yesterday with my I done the polish but with my sourdough started so I haven't used any dry yeast or fresh yeast. I don't mean my sourdough starting, which is quite a unique way to do it. So I'm gonna start to do now. Uh, as you can see, this one is gold, so the weight is at 280. Normally you can do hydration up to 80% hydration. So this is 280, and what you can see, it's quite nice and soft. It's very sticky, you have to be very careful to take it. And that's a 250, a done direct metal, all is our dough without the polish. You will see the difference. So we're gonna stretch first the, the classic. So basically the, the cross is quite thin. There's no big cross as a traditional uh, Napolitan pizza. And also quite big, normally go big off the table, so make it quite big. And the stretching of the contemporary has to be very gentle because it's got a lot of air, you want to do bigger crust, they have to do very gentle because it's got a lot of water, also the, the cooking time is a bit longer because it's got more, more water. Okay, so we're trying to, to do very gentle because it's very low of water. Okay. So we're doing this one first, the classic. Also for this video I make my own mozzarella fior di latte, uh, just to make this video for fun. If you want to make your own fresh mozzarella, go video for you, I'm going to put the links in the description. But normally those mozzarella I buy, so this one today I make my own just to make as a traditional as possible. Okay, it's a bit more here because this is a bigger pizza. I see the cross is quite thinner. Okay, this one is a smaller size. Put some olive oil, smaller size. Okay, and then this one is gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So we put this one first. It's a huge pizza, just put a few pizza of mozzarella, uh, let's go to the oven. And this we're gonna put more close to the to the entry of the oven because it's gonna take a bit longer. There you go. And this we're gonna put it here. Then we're gonna see the difference of oh, this some pizza, contemporary, big cross, big pockets. Uh, most of the time you can make, you can make with the direct method as well, but mostly ideally with the bigger or Polish. So put two boxes there. Well, this is not gonna fit in the boxes, so we're gonna put a box like that just to 
shows you. Okay. And this has to cook a bit slow because it's got more water. The temperature normal around 400 degrees, I use it. Maybe could a contemporary EV380 would be ideal. Okay, this is ready. Okay. I managed to do even the cross slightly bigger, but normally even more thinner cross when you make the Napolitan pizza. And we're gonna see the results. So basically, there's no little difference between them. The, the big cross, big hydration. They say this contemporary is more lighter as well, so possibly it's true. Uh, but they're both very tasty, both very nice. You guys let me know which one you prefer. And you can see this take a bit longer. There we go. So that's the, we're gonna cut it as well to see if it goes. Okay, the reason to use the scissor, instead of the pizza cutter to damage the cross, so we're using this just to, to check it. I see. It's going nice and heavy here. And this as well, of course, is got but it's a smaller crust as well. Smaller crust as well, but they all they're nice and crisp as well. And, uh, and it's a bit more softer as well. The Napoli classic is a little more softer. And this is more uh, a bit crunchy because we've done the Polish as well. Uh, which one is best, which one not? I think both, they are very nice pizzas. Uh, it's all depend the way your style you like to do the pizza. This has become so popular now all, all around the world. So people start to make this a big contemporary with a bigger crust. Also, when you do that, you should probably have, should have put less sauce in the crust to avoid to get bigger. But you can see, you see all the beautiful crust. We're gonna have a slice just to try. See, that's the nice, beautiful uh, cross. It's a bit hot now. I didn't show you the, the bottom as well. One second, this is too hot. Nice color at the bottom. As well, this is not well cooked, no burn. Now you can see the nice big pocket. I know they're both nice. If you like this kind of pizza, I'm gonna show you the way I done my holy sourdough pizza for the contemporary one. It's quite interesting. We didn't use no yeast, no any dry or fresh yeast, only sourdough starter to make even more boost, to make more high pocket. Come on, as well, inside the so beautiful high pocket. Even if you do the holy show, no, because you still can make a direct method, you still can make a nice hard pocket your pizza. So not necessarily you have to do Polish, but ideally for the contemporary, it's gonna give you more boost, more hard pocket with the cross. So guys, hope you like this digital uh, video about contemporary and traditional Napolitan pizza. Uh, leave us a comment below, and uh, thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.